Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and today we're going to continue on setting up Catello, um, making sure that we have a proper domain set up, making sure we have the subnet set up, uh, make sure we have an FTP server set up as well so that we can uh, basically set up a uh, TFTP from FTP. Um, I know it's a mouthful but uh, basically uh, the uh, trivial uh, transfer uh, protocol for that um, then we'll be setting up uh, different uh, median medium for you know the actual DVD type setup uh, create an operating system kickstart file all the all the fun stuff uh, that that uh, needs to be done in order for everything to start working uh, properly so let's kick it off and let's make sure first that we have the domain and then uh, from there we'll uh, create the subnet and the other steps that we need to do. All right, so first I uh, need to SSH into the box. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, first thing we want to do is make sure that the domain is created or make sure that a domain is already there. So type in hammer. Domain list. And we can see that our being lab.locals there. Um, this should have been created when we did the uh, initial uh, Catello server setup um, in the very beginning, which was before part one, um, probably about four videos ago. Um, next thing we're going to do is uh, see if there is a sub uh, subnet. Um, and that's going to be. Uh, we need to also find out what our, our proxy server is as well. So we'll first do a hammer proxy. Whoops. And we can see that there is our proxy. Um, and you can also see what's actually being uh, sponsored or set up from the Catello. So it's that location at that uh, port 9090. It's doing templates, pulp, TFTP. So that's really kind of what we need. We need to get the TFTP ID, which is actually your proxy ID. Um, from there, we actually need to now create the subnet. Hammer. Subnet create. Organization, that's going to be our MB Tech. What's location? Network. And remember, this is going to be the um, starting IP address or the broadcast. Or it's not really called the broadcast, but it's basically just the uh, the network uh, of our of our uh, subnet there. So that'll be the 10.11.1.0. And it wants to know the mask as well. Wants to know what type of network type. And also the gateway. So long, I'm sure I'm going to make a mistake here. And it also wants to know what the uh, DNS primary is. Boot mode is going to be DHCP. And then 
my Pam. We don't have one set up. Well, we're not using one. Domain IDS is going to be one as well. And TFTP ID. All right, and enter. And it looks like our subnet was created, so we must have I must have typed everything in right. So that's good. So we're gonna do a hammer subnet list. And there's all the information that we need for that. Um, now I'm actually going to go back to a GUI and show you all the stuff that was done. So we got our MB Tech. Our location is going to be Bing Lab. Um, infrastructure is what we're interested in. We're going to go to domains. And we've got binglab.com. Um, next is going to be smart proxies. And there's the Catello. All the stuff that it does. And it's got a check mark, which that's a good sign. Um, subnets, we created that. So there's the Bing underscore LAN, IP address, GC proxy. You can do this all from the GUI as well. Um, I think domains. I don't know if Realms has been done yet. No, nothing about Realms yet. Um, HTTP proxies. So those are the steps that we, we did, and there's the GUI uh, information uh, from that. Uh, next, we're going to do a uh, FTP installation uh, media for CentOS 7. Um, so I will go through that real quick, and then it's going to take a while to download the image or get the image. Um, but I'll give you those steps that need to be done for that. Um, so I'm actually going to take a pause here, and then we'll start back up uh, once that part's finished. Um, but we can go through some steps first. So let's do the uh, Yum Install VSFTPD. Okay, also enabled it. Um, next thing we want to do is actually uh, change the uh, configuration file. So that's in the Etsy, VSFTPD. Okay, and then in here, we want an anonymous enable to be yes. Uh, so anonymous enable equals yes, so that's good. And then right enable, we want to be new. And right quit. And then we want to start the service. Oops. Okay, so VSFTP should be started and everything should be good there. Um, next thing we want to do, as I mentioned, is get the uh, CentOS DVD and uh, actually copy that or, or move that over to um, the FTP pub uh, location. So to get that, I'll put in the uh, command that you need to do to download that file and then uh, mount it and do all our stuff, which is going to take some time. So I will uh, stop the video for now and then... Uh, once we get all that information, uh, 
set up and the DVD image there, then we'll go from the next steps. Okay, um, to get the ISO, what you need to do is you can go to the uh, CentOS website, and here you'll see a whole bunch of different mirrors and the ISO image. This is the ISO image you want, so uh, you can right click on it through your browser, and you want to copy uh, the link address. And then on your Catello box itself, I'm actually in the home directory here, you're just going to do a wget command, and then you can right click paste, and it'll be that ISO image. And just hit enter and right now it's starting to download that image um, so once that finishes I'm going to fast forward through this but once that finishes um, you'll have the ISO image and then you're actually going to mount that um, as if it was a you know actual directory but uh, I'll show you how to do that after this file is downloaded the ISO has been downloaded Okay, after the file's been downloaded, you should be able to do a list. You can just do a uh, list.sent, um, and you can see that you do have the ISO there. And then next, what we need to do is actually mount the ISO um, to the mount directory. And then uh, we should be good to actually copy those files to the uh, pub directory. Um, so we'll do that next. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to mount loop um, the ISO image and then we're going to uh, have that mounted to the mount directory. Now if we go to the mount directory we should see all the files as if we had access to the actual uh, disk or the CD-ROM. Um, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to uh, make a directory on the uh, public FTP server and then we're going to sync all of the files from this ISO to that directory. So we're going to do make directory var FTP pub Okay, that directory has been uh, created. Now we're just going to rsync. Recursive verbose progress. And it's going to go through and it's going to copy all these files uh, over uh, to that. Um, and it's, it's pretty fast. RSync's a pretty good program. There's multiple different ways that you could do this. Um, you could actually 
mount the disc to your virtual box. You could, if you had a DVD-ROM, you could have actually stick the DVD-ROM and copy them and stuff like that. Um, but I just find this way to be, you know, pretty easy and maybe show you a different way of doing it. Okay, it's uh, completed. Uh, copied four gigs worth of stuff pretty fast. Um, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, create the medium uh, using the hammer command. I'm just going to clear this up so we can see a little bit better. And see if I typed everything right. Uh, couldn't create the install of the medium. OS family must be one AIX Red Hat. Add a capital H. Okay, so installation medium has been created. We can verify that. There we've got since us DVD FTP. Okay, that completes this part of the uh, setup for Catello. Um, after this, we'll actually uh, create a uh, system to boot up on, and uh, we'll show you how to do that next. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Tell me if there's more information you'd like me to cover, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.